The Public Protector's Office confirmed that the probe into the Polar Polar Farm theft has been finalized. The PP's office stated that the interim report has been drafted and is undergoing quality assurance processes. South Africans are not excited about the news as many believe that President Cyril Ramaphosa will come out in scathe. The Office of the Public Protector, PP, has finally concluded its investigation into the Polar Polar Farm theft scandal. Not only is the investigation completed, but the interim report has already been drafted and sent for quality assurance. The news comes after the African Transformation Movement, ATM, leader Viawetha Zangula complained that the PP's office was taking too long to release its findings. According to News24, the acting executive manager of the office's investigations branch, Vusumuzi Dlamini, confirmed the conclusion of the investigation in a letter to Zangula. The PP's office particularly investigated whether President Cyril Ramaphosa violated the Executive Ethics Code after thousands of U.S. dollars were stolen from his Pola Pola farm in February 2020. Although ATM is happy with the PP's office's progress in the Pola Pola investigation, the party is not happy with the outcome of the Section 89 Independent Panel's report. An independent panel found that Ramaphosa may have a case to answer for and may have violated anti-corruption laws reports EWN. Parliament voted against adopting the report, which meant that the president would not face impeachment processes. Thetium initially asked for a secret ballot, however, Speaker Nozivu Mapizan Kokula denied that request. The political organization is unhappy with that decision stating that members of parliament could not vote freely. The party still plans to go ahead with court action against the National Assembly.